Hey there loves, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Leticia and on this channel we do a lot of home decor, DIYs as well as some lifestyle. In today's video we are going to be cleaning the entire bed and when I say the entire bed I'm including the mattress the bed itself the pillows and 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 <laughs> we are going to be making this bed feel and smell and look brand new I would definitely recommend that you start off with the most essential parts of the bed because for sheets you can always use other sheets if you do have more than one set of sheets you can always use other sheets if everything is not done that day of course you can split this up into different days but me myself when I do something I like to try to dedicate that day to it so I started really early in the morning with getting this done so the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning my mattress cover or this mattress topper i think it's called a mattress topper so i'm going to take the cover off of that and i'm going to be using my lenore scent boosters i think in german it's called a perfume wash or something like that anyway it's in the scent april fresh and i just love this i do have a few other scents but i just love this one the most so i'm going to be using that on my mattress cover i'm also going to be adding some tea tree oil because you guys know if you don't know the benefits of tea tree oil it's very good with preventing and killing bacteria and bugs and fungus and all that good stuff so i'm going to be adding some of that to my washing liquid and then i'm going to add a little bit of bleach about a cover full of bleach as well as my calgone and what calgone does is it cleans out the caulk from building up inside my washing machine and i'm going to be doing that same order throughout my entire wash i'm going to be washing this cycle at 75 degrees celsius which is nice and hot and it also helps with killing any bacteria as well as helping keep the mattress cover nice and soft and white while that wash is going i'm going to add my duvet insert into the dryer and i'm also going to add a fresh cloth if you guys don't have fresh cloths go ahead and use a baby wipe or a dryer ball and add some essential oil on it i'm also going to be washing that in the hygiene cycle but if you guys do not have that option just use the warm air cycle and i'm going to leave that in for 20 minutes so it helps get rid of any scent that might be trapped inside my duvet insert because i do not wash my duvet inserts regularly i like to throw it in the dryer just to freshen it up so what you see me doing here is adding my baking soda onto my mattress topper and i'm just going to leave that for 20 minutes and just let that set in and freshen up that mattress of course while you're cleaning your entire bed you want to go ahead and open the windows so that some nice fresh air gets in and cleanse or freshens up that mattress because you know the mattress does not get much air often because we have our sheets and our duvets and covers on it all the time so while that baking soda is setting into that mattress topper i'm just going to go ahead and steam my entire bed and what i'm using inside the steamer is just a little bit of tea tree oil with my water and i'm using the distilled water inside that so i'm just turning it on i have to wait a few seconds till the machine uh, turns from the red to that blue button and then i can start with steaming my bed If you have watched any of my bedroom cleaning videos before, I've told you that I do like to steam my bed every first of the month. And what I find is that this helps with keeping the bed nice and fresh because it is a polyester bed. The entire bed is made of cloth, so it can trap scents. And for me to avoid that, I just go ahead and steam it. Now, when you steam your bed, you wanna leave it nice and open to the air inside the room so that everything dries because you do not want to create any moisture so that any mold or anything else can grow inside it so just keep that in mind that when you do steam your bed give it time to dry 
now that about 20 to 30 minutes has passed i'm just going to go ahead and take off this baking soda off of the mattress topper and then i'm going to do the same thing to the mattresses that are under the topper and i know that we don't sleep on it directly but i still want to go ahead and freshen it up I am going to do the same thing with the baking soda to my mattresses, but you also do have the option to just remove the mattress covers itself. It does come with zippers on the side and you can remove that and throw it in the wash, but I don't find that necessary. So I'm just going to freshen it up with the baking soda. And Bay was so nice. He made me a cup of coffee because when I start stuff, y'all, I'd be forgetting to eat and I did not eat that entire day. And I think when he brought that in, it was well after 11. 11 o'clock so when I get started with doing stuff I just don't know when to stop I don't know why <laughs> bad habit now I'm going to be vacuuming away any dust or a little debris or skin dry skin then you know the bed accumulates a lot of stuff so I'm just going to be vacuuming the box spring and I'm going to be flipping the mattresses at the same time just to have an even wear on the mattress now I can't flip my mattress from head to foot or in that other direction because the side that's near the headboard does not have the black band so unfortunately i just have to swap sides i flip them and swap the sides of the mattress and i'm not going to be doing the baking soda on this side because we didn't sleep on this side or it was not directly impacted by us so i just vacuumed it off a little and left it as is it made absolutely no sense for me to show you guys me washing my newer pillows because they look really good. So I decided to wash this old pillow to show you the benefits of washing your pillows regularly. Look at how nice this looks now. And I did the same things. I added the same things that I did in my wash cycles from the beginning. And I just wanted to show you guys it is very important to wash your pillows regularly because all of that drool and sweat and body fluids are left inside it and it just looks really disgusting now when it comes to drying your pillows you want to make sure that there is no moisture left inside your pillows because you can create mold inside your pillows so make sure that they are dry completely if you take them out that first drying cycle and it's not dry put them in again or if you're lucky enough to have some sun because I had Liam, <laughs> you can go ahead and rest it outside in the sun for about 30 minutes to an hour until it is completely dried. So I'm not going to be showing you guys how I make my bed because that's going to be in another video. And if you have not seen how I make my bed before, I will definitely go ahead and link some of the videos in the cards for you guys or put them down in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did if it was beneficial please give your girl a big thumbs up i would definitely appreciate it if you have not subscribed as yet please go ahead and subscribe and definitely chat down below let's comment down below how do you guys clean your bed regularly i mean the entire bed regularly do you hand wash your pillows <laughs> or do you machine wash your pillows anyways guys i will see you guys in the next one until then choose and be safe